this is Cinema. And this is Johannes. And you're watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And today we are taking a look at Sparks. This is a new game from Alliant Games coming up at Spiel 2024. This is a review copy and it is designed by Adrian Adamescu, Perloka Florine, Chetil Svensson and Christian Amundsen Öst. It plays from 1 to 4 players in 45 minutes. Yes, Sparks! This is an upcoming game, so obviously it's a review copy that we've got. It's coming out from Alliant. Alliant is a new company. It is basically a port of games. We have no new, two new like companies. I live from a port of games. He started Shelly Fox. And Christian Ospi, he started uh, Alliant Games. So, port of games still going, but they have also their own companies now making different games. So this is, last year they had a How Dare You little card game, and this year they had this and Godlings out there for new releases. Just want to let you know. Let's talk about it. In this game you are going to make robots. You are in this little workshop, you're gonna have some uh, cute little helpers. For example this panda which is adorable, and this monkey which looks not nice. And you're going to use these helpers together with the dice that you are drafting to manage to make as many robots as possible and do different things to get points. The game is going to last for four rounds. Every time it's my turn to be like the lead player, I'm going to choose one of these tiles. Let's say I choose the four. I will then be able to take four dice either from this side or this side. And those are going to be the dice I will use on this round. The other players in a multiplayer game is going to choose one die each and but we also have to draw from one of the directions. The only difference is that in a two-player game you choose two dice. Yes. And then everybody simultaneously is going to use these dice. You will use them to place, for example here this needs a red one so I can place it there. Oh and it needs a six which means I finish this, this uh, robot. When I finish a robot I get to move one on the score track or more if there's a special robot on the score track for that uh, robot color. Sometimes that will get me a bonus, for example, a new tool, which is going to be special abilities. Also, this one has a special one time bonus, which lets me then move on the blue track. Other robots are going to have a power box, which you then need to use after you have finished it. You need to use this power to power up, and you can do that uh, once every round of the game. You can also use your dice to put over here to try to level up your workshop. And as soon as you have the same pip value as the number on the next level or more, you're going to move up and you're going to discard these dice. You're then going to be able to get some bonuses and at the end this is going to help you score points for all of the assistants you have played. The assistants you need cogs to play, you can also use cogs to manipulate dice to, for example, I could use cogs to place this even though it's a green die I need over here. And these are going to have one round time, one round, once per round abilities, instant abilities, and, and ongoing abilities that will help you also throughout the game. There's an advanced variant where you're going to play with some gold cards. In the basic game, you're going to get these randomly, and in the advanced variant, you're going to draft them, which I think you should, because drafting makes all games better. After the four rounds where you have chosen dice four times, like the main player to choose, you're going to count up some end of game scoring depending on how far you've gotten on the tracks and different other small things. And the player with the most points is going to be the winner. Mm -hmm. Things you can see with your eyes. The artwork is nice for this game. I like the wooden components for the cogs and the energy that you use. Uh -huh. And the artwork on the robot are pleasant, but what really steals the show in this game are, is the artwork for the animal cars, yes. the, the assistants, do you yeah, call them? The assistants. And also, the, the, yeah, they look adorable, and I think it's cute that they all have names. I really like this, and all of these are different animals and different uh, artworks on them. I would have liked a few more different artworks on the robots. There are a few different ones for each color. I think there's there's two or three for each color. I would have liked there to be like a few more. Mm -hmm. Not... I don't mind, but, but no, yeah. it's just like it, I I when I was like making the fourth robot that looked like this, yeah. I was like, okay, I would have been fun to have like more. Yeah, there's two of each. It would have been more fun to have more things to look at because like it's a big visual part of the game. That's right. But overall, great thing. The thing also has. A rule book. Yeah, it's a short rule book because it's a very straightforward, simple game. 
it has the setup on the front page. I've never seen that before in a game, I think, where like this is the setup, it's on the front, and it has like two, four pages of rules. And as you see, there's a lot of uh, space here, and there's a lot of examples, like on the other side here, there are examples. So it's a very straightforward game. I will say that it's a good rule book. There is the solo mode, there's the variant, and there's the different uh, usages for the assistant. So all in all, two robot thumbs up in the ear. Mm -hmm. There is not have, like, yeah. Yeah, there's not a play aid, but you have a lot of the actions that you can do mm -hmm. on your player board. So I didn't really feel the need for an additional play aid in this game. No, you can reference like the abilities, the abilities of the assistants and all of that. But other than that, you're taking dice and you're placing them somewhere. So it's like, oh, what do I do with a red die? It's nothing like that but in it, the game. But like, this is basically the player aid. If yeah. this wasn't here, I would be like, there's no player aid. I'm bothered by that. That's but true. you have it here, so I am happy. I agree. We played the game and it took time. Yes, we have played it with two and three players and it has taken us 30 to 45 minutes. I think the box actually says, yeah, it says 45 minutes. How do you feel about the play time of the game? I felt it was fine. Like the time it took was the bother in itself but I felt like sometimes player the player drafting uh -huh. could spend some time both like choosing which one of these dra drafting options they mm -hmm. want and then also like okay I want four dice do I want to draft from this side or this side so that could take some time and that was a little boring because it wasn't anything I can do in nope. that time span yep. but that is the pl you need to make a snappy decision that was the only only time I was bothered by the length of it yeah because that is like the only it's kind of can be a bit deep like okay but I need that and that I want to because you when you have chosen them you're dumb like you cannot then choose something else mm -hmm. so you're gonna be like okay but this I want to maximize that and oh that's gonna be helping you to finish that one so I get the bonus and all of that also I have to say like some even though you're playing simultaneously, which I'm happy, basically you are shortening the length of time you have to wait between your turns. Yeah. Because when you get a die, you might be able to do a little thing, or if you have built up to something, oh, I can then finish it to get a couple of things. You have to wait a less time because some turns are cascading. Mm -hmm. Some turns are going to be like, oh, I get this and I get to move there and I get a new die over here. So I get to roll that. Oh, I have verdicts here. I'm going to place it there. Oh, I get that. I can use that to place it over there. So I'm going to finish another robot. And dun, 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 dun. And, and like the fact that you're drafting on other people's turn is basically like a little hair. Do something while it's somebody yes. else's turn. I feel like that's a good designer choice. If mm -hmm. I hadn't gotten this to be like, I can also do stuff now, yeah. not only worth for your turn, I would be bored. Yeah. So I, I, I really appreciate that you do something, just a little thing, while you wait for the main player to take their turn. Because this game is 100% multiplayer solitaire. There's like, except for, ex and, and basically even all, almost even here. Yeah. Because I am getting the dice, that's my turn. Yeah. I am getting most dice, you're getting one. Maybe you hope I take from this side so you can take that. But, but that's not really, interaction. No. I'm not going to do another choice, but oh, maybe you want that one. I don't care no. what you're doing. I'm doing my own puzzle. Yes. Which is kind of, both makes it okay to play with more people, but also make it so that I would rather just play it with two. Because yeah. there's other games I would choose where um, it, it matters more to me what the other people are doing. Because mm -hmm. I have no idea what they're doing. Yes. Other than just looking over and see, oh, you finished a lot of robots. Or you did a lot of these things. I don't care. Yeah, because of the weight on um, other players' turns to decide this. Mm -hmm. I would rather play with two. Because yeah. then I get to do it like more often. Yeah. And the weight for less people, basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I agree. I agree on that. So you have like the main puzzle here because you are taking dice four times. It means that the main puzzle is going to be to try to maximize the things that you will do. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good time doing that? Yes, I thought it was really fun to like figure out which ones of these I needed and then try to place them so that I could finish the robots in a order that made sense. For mm -hmm. example, this one right here is in a space that's upgraded. Yeah. So this makes really a lot of sense to try to finish first. Mm -hmm. This uh, ability is that I can recycle one of the dice, which is really good. Yeah. So uh, I could use, for example, uh, this six. If this wasn't finished, I could then 
like place it here when this was done and I can finish something else. Yeah. And there's other of these abilities as well. And I thought this little process over here was fun. I agree. There is some randomness with which of the robots you're getting. Mm -hmm. I like a lot that when I am drawing new robots, let's say I've finished these two robots, which means I have two spaces that I'm not in use. So at the end of the round or the turn, I'm going to draw three more robots and I'm going to choose two of them to place down. So I get like, it's not just draw two and place them, you yeah. get a little bit of choice. And also the fact since they're not, it's not like some of these are so good and others are bad. All of them are going to be helpful in one way or the other, yeah. which means that you are, and you are making quite a few robots throughout the game. It's not one of those games where you make like four robots. Mm -hmm. You might make like 12 or 10, 10 to 14 maybe throughout the game depending on how good you are, maybe even more. So it's going to be more of a, this will be helpful now. I'm choosing that, oh, I will choose maybe a box one because I can use it more times if I get enough of these so I can then have one enough for each round and all of these things, yes. which I really like. I enjoyed the fact that it, all of it felt good. I agree. There are some robots that just need two dice. Uh -huh. Those are usually not that powerful, mm -hmm. but uh, the ones that need an additional die usually has like a better ability. And I I thought that finishing the robots were like you wanted more of the same color yeah. to move high up on one track because yeah. that was good for points and abilities. But also you want the sets to score the bonus points here. So like both things are good. Yeah, there's one thing where I, first time we play, I was like, oh, I'm going to go high on this track to go high on one track, try to score a lot of points. But when you get up to eight points, uh, because it's two, four, six, mm -hmm. which is like an increment of two, yeah. and then it's like eight, 11, 14, 17, 20, 23, 26, which all of them are three points. Yeah. So if this is here and this is here, it doesn't matter which of them go up. Yeah. So then it would be better to make this go up yes. so that I will get the bonus. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the first time I played, I was going to be like incremental yeah. so that when if I focus hard on one thing, but then again, I, I, I'm happy it's not because then it would be the fact where I, it was obviously best to go for one color. So you would only do that. And I enjoy that it's not that way, but I was just like, it was surprised to me because I was thinking I would be getting like a, a good thing back for yeah. being able to focus on one color and pushing that color. I agree. It feels balanced with these points because three points for a set of like four different colors mm -hmm. isn't a lot either. So nope. if this was a lot more points, this should be more points as well. So it feels balanced. I, I enjoy these bonus goals that you can play with because I give you like a tiny little thing. A couple of them that I looked at was like felt more these things you can work towards like getting the i might have to do it <laughs> the second time getting the lightning you can do here and with some cards if you look for them you're going to be able to get one more a couple of them felt more like getting enough robots with the power box oh, for yeah. example that felt a little more random because you can be in a situation where you get very few of them mm -hmm. but you i i think that's accomplishable you draft quite a uh, yes. A lot of robots. Because of that, and because it's not like, oh, only two cards has it, it's mm -hmm. more of a, then you have to choose to go for that. And it's not like you're going to lose if you don't get those five points. That's true. And it's also not a race. This is yes. at the end of the game. Yeah. So you can like, it's not true. only the first player who gets that. This game has something that I usually don't like in games. Mm -hmm. Do you know what that is? Simultaneous play? Yes. Yeah. Simultaneous play. Because I then end up, and that's the reason why I would like this most as a two-player game, because I don't, it's a solo game, because this is a solo game, I just like, I, but I like to have a human being competing with, that's like always my problem with solo gaming is that I can't get myself excited of competing with somebody who isn't there. So it's basically fine here, because also I get to do something, so I, it's basically this is my turn. Yeah. And I get to do something else on your turn. Yeah. It feels more than that. So I don't mind it here. So if you are like me and usually don't like simultaneous play, I, it might be fine for you here. It was fine for me. I Anything agree. you want to add before we go into the wait and who is it for? No. Then let's go into the wait and who is it for? What do you think? I think this is a light, maybe light to medium game. Mm -hmm. And if you like dust drafting and like this action manipulation, trying to do things in a certain order to make it all work, yep. then you might like this. It's basically that like optimization puzzle of trying to prolong your turns as long as you can 
until the other players are like, come on, do the rest of your turn. Yeah. I'm looking at you because you get to do so much stuff on your turn. I'm like, how are you getting 15 more dice? I don't understand it. Luckily, you can only finish three robots in one turn, so you that's can't true. be like, I did 16 robots. So let's do some final thoughts before we do that. If this video was anything helpful at all, then you can help us out in a very big way by giving us a victory point. And we get victory points when you click that subscribe button down there. You can also click the bell to get notifications every time we post a new video. And now, final thoughts time for Sparks. We forgot to talk about the uh, assistant. Could we just like... Let's talk about the yeah, assistant. Briefly. Because the first one you play, that's one cog, and uh -huh. then you play like two for the second one and three for the third one and so on. And I thought those were cool as well, both for like doing more stuff right now, but also for getting a little like ability throughout the game. And I enjoyed drafting them more mm -hmm. than just getting six random. I agree. Because you get a more chance of making combos and not being yeah basically if i can take away randomness i will do it every time yes and now, now we were final. just teasing you yes now we are getting to the actual final thoughts for sparks you go yes i enjoyed it i generally really like optimization puzzle mm -hmm. i also really like dice drafting yes and i think like the because you have some luck of like drawing the dice and i really needed red to finish all three robots uh -huh. it wasn't any red this yeah. round but next round maybe you leave a red here and i can grab that and um, also this ability right here lets you take uh, three from here, but you get two random from the two. bag and you draft such a, a lot of dice. Mm -hmm. I f feel like the randomness, I'm fine with that. You can also manipulate with some cogs. I like that a lot. Uh, and it's uh, overall enjoyable. Uh -huh. um, it doesn't excite me to the highest level. Okay. So I, I think it's a nice game, but nothing that... Like, I'm not excited to play it again okay and we have so many games so oh, yeah. i don't know if that's saying a lot about this game but i think if i want to play it again it's definitely going to be a game that i will enjoy most at two players mm -hmm. because it's not that much interaction that i'm missing a third or fourth player so i'm gonna land this at a 6.5 it's well above average and that's my rating for the game yes i like this game i think it's fun i enjoy my time with it i think that if you Usually, uh, like a little bit lighter games than us, but still like the puzzle optimization, you will end up liking this game a lot. It has variability in the different tiles that you can play, the bonuses. I'm just moving things today. And I really enjoy my time playing it. I agree with you a lot. Uh, for me, I'm going to land it on a 7. I think it's a good game. I have fun while I play it. I'm not going to be sad to play it again. I think for now, I want to keep it mm -hmm. because I just I enjoy the puzzle optimization here and it is one that I think a lot of the people we play with who has played less games are gonna enjoy a lot as well because like the lighter it's a lighter game but it is an enjoyable game mm -hmm. and that is going to be the end of this video I hope you got something out of it that was helpful to make you see if this game might be a game for you in the chaos of all the games coming out that's going to be the end. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Johannes. I'm Cinema. And you've been watching Board Gaming Ramblings. And bye-bye.